In this lecture, we will discuss about reactions of Grignard reagent with ketone. Our MGX is known as Grignard reagent. For example, CH3MZBR is a Grignard reagent. In case of Grignard reagent, Carbon has negative charge and magnesium has positive charge. This means this carbon can act as a nucleophilic center. So if I have a Grignard reagent, it can act as a nucleophile. That is, we have negative charge on alkyl group and positive charge on MgX. Now, let us consider a typical ketone. In this case, oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. So, this electron cloud is shifted towards oxygen side. So, oxygen will have negative charge and carbon will have positive charge. So basically there is a dipole moment from carbon to oxygen side. Now this carbon will act as electrophilic center because it has sufficient positive charge so some nucleophile can attack. So a nucleophile can attack on ketone. Now if I compare a ketone with an aldehyde, so let us say we have a ketone and aldehyde. Aldehyde will be more reactive towards nucleophile compared to ketone. So this is more reactive. And basically there are two reasons. In this case we have positive charge. Here we also have positive charge. Oxygen will have negative charge. But this positive charge, this positive charge gets reduced by plus I effect of alkyl group. Now in this case we have two alkyl group. And in this case, we have only one alkyl group. So, only one alkyl group shows plus I effect. So, in this case, reduction is less. In this case, reduction is more. So, this means this carbon will have more positive charge. So, a nucleophile can attack on this carbon more easily compared to this carbon. Another reason is, in this case we have two alkyl group, they can show a steric effect, that is coming nucleophile will be repelled by this and this alkyl group. But in case of aldehyde we have only one alkyl group, so nucleophile has less chance to be repelled.
So this means I can say in case of aldehyde, we have less asteric repulsion. So there are two reasons, one is asteric reason, another is electronic reason. So next asteric factor and electronic factor. Now let us come to the attack of Grignard reagent on ketone. We will consider two cases. First is symmetrical ketone and then we will discuss unsymmetrical ketone. So let us say my ketone is symmetrical. That is two alkyl group attached to the ketone is same. So this alkyl group and this alkyl group both are same. Both sides we have R alkyl group. Now let us say we have Grignard reagent pH MgBr. So this pH minus will attack on this carbon because this is electrophilic and the same time we cannot have 5 bond to the carbon. We have already 4 and we are going to make 1. So we will have 5 bond. This is not possible. So at the same time we have to break 1 bond and we will shift this bond to oxygen. So we will have O minus and MgBr plus. So this is the salt and this reaction is nucleophilic addition because we are adding a phenyl group as a nucleophile to the electrophilic carbon. So this is nucleophilic addition. Now next step we can acidify this compound that is the salt let us say H2O. If I add H2O we will have finally an alcohol as a product. We will have inorganic product. So you see this is a 3 degree alcohol. And in case of symmetrical ketone we have two alkyl group that is same. So now we have, if I have a symmetrical ketone, final product is a 3 degree alcohol containing two same kind of alkyl group. Now let us consider a case of unsymmetrical ketone. So if I have, let us say R, C double bond O R dash and let us say we have Grignard reagent pH MgBr and the RDI is same we have pH minus MgBr plus. So this goes here this will open up so we will have R O minus. So we will have a salt and if this salt we can acidify that is we can react with H2O finally we will have a 3 degree alcohol. And we will have inorganic product also that is MgBrOH. So in this case again we have a 3 degree alcohol. So this is a 3 degree alcohol. Important point we have in this case we have 3 alkyl groups that is different. So 3 different alkyl groups. So this means if I have a symmetrical ketone we will have two same kind of alkyl group and in case of unsymmetrical ketone we will have three different alkyl group. So this one is different than this one and this is different. So we have three different alkyl groups. Let us try this problem. So if I say you have to prepare this compound.
and how will you prepare using Grignard reagent synthesis? Now you see this is a 3 degree alcohol. So we can use Grignard reagent synthesis but we have to take a ketone because aldehyde gives either primary or secondary alcohol and ketone gives tertiary alcohol. So we have to take ketone. Now in this case we have three options. Either we can choose this one as a Grignard reagent, this one as a Grignard reagent or this one as a Grignard reagent. So let us try these three options. So we have three options. So first is if I take this one as Grignard reagent, so we will have CH3MZBR and the corresponding ketone we will have that is one side we will have ethyl group and another side we will have phenyl group. After reaction we have to also acidify and then we will get the desired product. Another option we can have we can take this one as a Grignard reagent that is ETMZBR then we have to have this and this in ketone. And finally we have to acidify then we will get the desired product. Another option we have we can take this as Grignard reagent then this group and this alkyl group will come into the ketone and we need acidification to get the final product. So basically there are three possible ways. Now let us say if I say you have to prepare this compound using Grignard reagent. So once again we have to use ketone because this is a 3 degree alcohol. Now we can take this as Grignard reagent, this as Grignard reagent and this as Grignard reagent. But when I take this as Grignard reagent and this as Grignard reagent both are same. So in this case we have basically two options. So one is CH3MZBR and corresponding ketone will be PHCOCH3 and we have to acidify to get the final product. Now the second possibility is we can take PHMZBR as Grignard reagent and then we can have a symmetrical ketone. So this one is unsymmetrical ketone. So we have two possible ways. Now let us say if I have CS3, CS3, all the three alkyl groups are same and once again we have a 3 degree alcohol and we have to prepare this one using Grignard reagent. And once again we can take a ketone because this is a 3 degree alcohol. So this time we will have only one possible ways. Either we can take this as Grignard reagent, this as Grignard reagent or this as Grignard reagent. But all are same. So we have only one possible path. So we have CS3MZBR plus acetone and we need acidification also to give the desired product.
one more important point about this reaction that is the reaction of Grignard reagent with ketone is the stereochemistry. Let us discuss here itself about the stereochemistry. So if you have a ketone let us say this side you have methyl group and this side you have ethyl group C double bond O. Basically this carbon is sp2 carbon so this molecule is a planar molecule. Now when the Grignard reagent is attacking on this carbon it can attack from top or it can attack from bottom. So for Grignard reagent that is for R minus let us say in this case R minus is pH minus. So we have two possibility we can have top attack or we can have bottom attack. So we can write product if I have top attack that is we will have pH group that is added on from the top. So this is carbon this bond will go slightly downside this bond will also go slightly downside and we will have pH that is coming from top and here we will have OH group. So this is from top attack. Now similarly we can write product from the bottom attack this time pH group will be added from the bottom and this group will go slightly up this group will go slightly up so we will have pH OH this side we will have and this will go slightly up and this will also go slightly up. So we will have this product from bottom attack. Now if you see these two products are basically chiral four groups are different so this carbon is chiral carbon this carbon is chiral carbon. You can see more closely these two products are basically mirror image to each other. So products are mirror image. And you may remember when the products are mirror images these are called enantiomers. So in this case we are getting a pair of or a set of enantiomer. So we are getting two product and these two products are basically enantiomers. So two products are possible and these two products are basically enantiomer to each other and this is possible only if I have an unsymmetrical ketone that this group and this group is different. We cannot have this situation in case of symmetrical ketone. So we must have unsymmetrical ketone. So you see in this lecture we discussed about reactions of Grignard reagent with ketone and we said if I have a ketone that is symmetrical the final 3 degree alcohol we will have that contains two same kind of alkyl group. If I have unsymmetrical ketone in that case we will have final alcohol that will have three different alkyl groups attached. And finally we also discussed about the stereochemistry if I have an unsymmetrical ketone reaction of Grignard reagent will give a set of enantiomers that is mirror images to each other.